How is it going guys? Hello and welcome to the second episode of our Curtis Helldiver video build. In this episode we will finish the build. So let's move on. We will start with installing the final pieces in the interior. Then after some trimming we will fix the rest of the canopies in place. Since there is a little step between the wings and the fuselage, we need to make some adjustments in order to achieve a good fit. And while the file is out, why not clean up a bit? After we are satisfied with the fit, it is time to glue the wings in place. The control surfaces are positionable, so we are going to take advantage of this. We will use thicker plastic cement where possible in order to ensure stronger bond. A little bit of sanding in the wing root area is enough because we have done proper job ensuring good fit. To deal with the spine seam, we will use file and then we will describe some of the lost panel lines. There is a gap where the dive brakes stay and we need to fill it. For this we will use plastic strip. Then we are going to carefully install the dive brakes. The photo edge elements come with the kit. Finally, we will install some of the smaller details. Tutorial on how to mask your wheel wells you will find in your upper right corner. The first steps of the painting process is to clean the surface with isopropyl alcohol. Before we start painting, please don't forget to wear one of these. It is very important. If you want to wear one of these t-shirts, check the link here. We will prime the airframe using Mr. Surfacer. To address the seam on the fuselage spine, we will use Mr. Surfacer 500. To add more details, we are going to rivet the entire model. A review of the riveter I use, you can see in your upper right corner. First color will be H11 flat white from Mr. Hobby diluted with Mr. Color acrylic thinner. For masking, we are going to use the widest Tamiya tape and we are going to cut it to our liking. Instead of using decals for the left upper wing, we are going to create a mask from the decal and paint the marking. To 
mask the complex surfaces and to seal some lifting edges of the tape, we are going to use Mr. Masking Soul Neo. The second color on the underside is going to be C72 Intermediate Blue diluted with Mr. Leveling Thinner. Let's put the Tamiya tape and masking liquid to work again. The final color of the camouflage will be C14 Navy Blue diluted with Mr. Leveling Thinner. The color is applied in streaks parallel to the airflow on the horizontal surfaces and perpendicular on the ground on the vertical surfaces. This is done to avoid monotone surface. After some more masking, we are going to paint the inside of the dive brakes red. The wall place we are going to paint brush using Mr. Hobby H12 Flat Black. Now it's time to seal everything with a few coats of clear varnish. The decals are not too much, which is good because they are not the best decals known to mankind. The engine was painted with AK dark aluminium. Next we are going to paint the push rods black. Using a silver pencil we will enhance the shine on the ribs of the cylinders. After assembling the engine together we will add exhaust manifolds and the crankcase. The case will be weathered using mix panel line wash. To add a little more detail to the engine, we will add ignition leads made of stretched black sprue. To 
finish off this part of the assembly, we will attach the cowling. Now it is time for some weathering. First comes the panel line wash. To remove it, you can use paper towel, cotton swab or makeup applicator sponge. We are going to use highly diluted white paint to fade the centers of some panels and the spaces between rivet lines. For the next step of weathering, we will need flat surface, so we are going to apply flat clear coat. To imitate chippings to expose metal, we are going to use silver pencil. Next, we are going to add some lighter scuffs using light grey pencil and some green pencil for exposed primer. For darker damages like shoe marks etc. we are going to use black pencil. For our first layer of greasy and oily nastiness, we are going to use brown oil paint. The navy blue needs to be relatively glossy, so a couple of clear varnish layers are needed. To make additional streaking effects, we are going to use oil brushers from MIG and we are going to manipulate them using flat brush. I applied the clear coat not very good, so we need to smooth it. For the task we are going to use micromesh polishing cloth. We are not aiming for a mirror like finished, just smooth surface. Next we have to put some color to various small details like the hook, the propeller and the wheels.
the next step of our weathering is applying random spots of black and brown filters using sponge. Using the same black filter, we are going to apply the exhaust stains. It is time to start the final assembly. And it is time to face the worst part of the kit. Notice how snugly the gear legs fit in their places. Everything else is getting together without any issues. To add the antenna, we will have to drill holes in the fuselage and in the leading edge of the tail. Then we are going to use stretched black sprue for the antenna so we don't have to paint it. And there it is, the finished Curtis Helldiver. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. To watch more of my videos, click on the thumbnails. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified about the latest videos. Until next time, happy modeling!